going into the break. We said they're the largest supplier of oil and gas tubes. They've been on an acquisition spree, if you will, lately, doing more than $5 billion worth of deals uh, in the past year. We're talking about uh, Tenaris. They bought Maverick Tube, and last month they agreed to buy Hydro. Joining us here in the studios to talk about the oil and gas industry and this company is CEO, Chairman and CEO of Tenaris, uh, Palo Roca. Thanks uh, for coming on here today. Um, if we talk about your company, I mean, the roots of the company go back 75 years, a long way. To 1954, yeah. when the company was established at that time in Argentina. It's changed a lot, and it's grown a lot, and now you're among the super elite in terms of uh, the steel producers out there. In terms of, I just looked at a market cap just on the ADR alone, $26 billion. You're bigger than Nucor U.S. Steel. Well, I, I would say that the Tenaris is not a steel maker. It's mainly a supplier of service and product for the oil industry, and uh, the oil industry sector is growing. The uh, demand uh, is growing, and the need of the energy is growing, so that's the reason why we are also in good demand. And this is why we decided to enter into the States in the last year. No? Again, for our viewers and our audience, I'm going to focus on the, the TS, ticker TS traded shares here in New York, uh, not the ones in Milan, up 32% in 12 months, outpacing pretty much all of your rivals. Why so? Well, I think the, the uh, Tenaris is a very strong company, is very profitable, and uh, uh, has a very differentiated product. Uh, and uh, we are supplying the oil industry all around the world for the most complex environment uh, in, uh, in the Caspian Sea or all around the world uh, and into the States. L in the last year, we invested in, uh, in the United States in the acquisition of Maverick and of uh, Hydrel. Uh, for us, it's a big uh, commitment to the US. We will have uh, we invested more than $5 billion, uh, but I think we've got a very strong position in the United States, a very good team, and we are happy with it. You have do business. Your customers are some of the biggest oil companies in the world, names that everybody would know, Exxon, for example, uh, and some of the big pipelines. You're expecting a 20% market share in the U.S., the biggest market overall globally for the kind of steel tubes that you make. For, from our point of view, the United States is the most important market uh, worldwide. It represents uh, around the, the North American market, represents around 44% of the world demand. And this is a market that is divided between very simple application, like this shallow wells in Canada or in Texas, to very complex application in the Gulf. I think that with this acquisition, we are very prepared to uh, serve this, uh, the two segment of the market. We will have uh, a 20 percent share in the United States, uh, but we will, be, with Hydro, that is a very recognized brand, that is a leading brand, we will be able to serve the most demanding need of the oil industry. What, will your mark, what is your market share goal in the U.S.? Well, in this product, in uh, the very demanding product, Hydro has a, a market share in the range of 37, 38 percent. Mm -hmm. So we will be mm, very strong there. Uh, if we combine this with the position of Maverick, we will have, I think, a very mm, important position. And also, this is a very uh, relevant commitment to manufacturing into the States. We will have more than 3,500 3, people working in manufacturing in the States uh, for supplying the U.S. industry. We only have about oil. 20 seconds left. I just want to ask you, it's Investor Day. I see your pamphlet there. Mm -hmm. What's the message you're trying to get out to the sort of U.S. investment community? Well, uh, the message is the one that I've said. In the last year, Tenaris achieved something substantial, a positioning in the United States that we were looking for in the last 10 years. And uh, I think this is completing our global uh, deployment. Uh, we this to, is the message we, we have. have to jump in. Thank you very much, Paolo Roca. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Little break, folks, and we're right back.